In this tutorial, we are in Adobe Audition and I'm going to show you how to make a copy of your original file. So when I start my podcast, I name it the episode. In my very first file, I always put original on that file. I don't touch the originals when I'm done. When I'm done with my first recording, the first thing I do is make a duplicate copy and I do all of my editing on the duplicate, having a nice clean backup in the original file. Some, dis some audio editing in addition if you're in the effects rack over here and you add in a process, compression or anything like that, once you hit apply, that's a permanent or a destructive edit. So I like to have a nice clean backup in case I do something as I'm going along that I don't like and I want to go back to the original, I always have that nice clean copy. So let me show you how to do it here. I'm going to do a new file by doing Command Shift N or you can go up to the file menu, new audio file. You can see there shift command N will get you a new file. This is what I do for every podcast. Episode 01 test and then I can do underscore original. This is what I do for all my podcasts. You can do it however you want to name it but just go original 44 mono floats great and then what I do is typically save it so I get it in the right directory. I'll just keep it. We've already named it but I'll keep it in the directory that I want. Let's put it in the project files for this video and then we're going to save it. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and record. If you don't see the levels while you're recording, hit the option I, that's a little trick there. Then do shift spacebar. We'll start the recording in Audition. You can see that the waveforms are coming in. So it is recording what I'm saying right now. Okay, I'm going to hit the spacebar again to stop. I'm going to get rid of the spectral display by turning, pulling down. All right, so we have our finished podcast file. I just went through and recorded Spacebar. everything. We'll start the recording. That's the file. Audio is working. What I'm going to do now is make a copy. And that is the whole point of this tutorial is to show you how I make a duplicate copy. Edit. Then I go to copy to new. And that makes an exact duplicate of that original. And then I go through and save that. I'll name it episode 01 test. And then I'll say something like, you know, oops, V1. And that'll just tell me that that is the first file. We'll go in, we'll save it to that original one. And now we have a duplicate of the original. I never have to touch that original. I can hit save on it. I can say save all. That's what that little asterisk was. And then what I can do is close this one down right here. So close that selected file just so I don't ever touch it. Now I have a clean copy of the original and I can edit this. And if I, and sometimes I'll even make a copy of that one. If I want to go through and maybe do different versions, it's just a backup. Audio files are not that big. So having an extra copy is just a good peace of mind. So that is how you make a duplicate copy in Adobe Audition. Cheers.